Well, today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're talking about the ways that work. Just the things that work in window cleaning for advertising, getting new customers, building your business, doing everything. We're talking about the things that do actually work. So if you're a window cleaner or thinking about getting into window cleaning, stay tuned. It's WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? Uh, Have a look around. We have hundreds, hundreds of episodes, seven years of content, been doing this every single week for that time. So go back, watch, listen, everything. If you've been here before and you've seen it and you're coming back, what's up? Thanks for hanging out. So today we are, we're talking about things that work. And when I was kind of putting this together, I, I kind of thought, you know, I want to do advertising that works, but it's not all advertising. These are just things that work every day, every single day, online, Facebook groups, everything. People are like, hey, have you guys ever had this work for business? Or is this a good idea? Or should I try this? Or should I do that? And I'll tell you the truth. There's a lot of things out there that don't work. But there's a lot of things that do, and they work in your area. Don't tell me they don't work in your area, because they do. You're just probably doing it wrong. Could be a lot of reasons. But I'll just dive in. I'm going to dive in. First thing that I want to talk about is Facebook ads. And now, I've done a bunch of episodes. We've talked to uh, Monk SEO. Um, We've talked to Bobby. Um, We've talked to a bunch of people that do ads and put ads out and just everything to do with Facebook ads. And then somebody goes out and does it and they go, yeah, it doesn't do it. I've had that ad up for like a month. I don't really get any calls. What? They have to be done right. All this stuff has to be done right and your ad can't suck. But Facebook ads, even if your customer, or let me rephrase that, even if you're not on Facebook, your customer is. Because who's our demographic? If you're younger, than me, look at my my wrinkles. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm in my late 20s, but uh, no, if you're younger, uh, you probably aren't even on Facebook. There's a lot of people that don't even have Facebook accounts, but it doesn't matter what you have. I don't care what you have. I care what my customer has. Who am I trying to target? What am I trying to say? Who am I trying to connect with? And the great thing with Facebook is not only are they super targeted, but there's groups and you can create your own business page and that's all free. When you get into the ad side, ads are put into Facebook and you probably don't even know that you're seeing them. Now, this is in every platform. You've seen ads in TikTok and you've seen ads in um, Facebook and Instagram and that's how they make their money. But some of the interesting ways that some ads work is that they don't come off as ads. Now, we won't talk about it here, but say radio. Radio doesn't work. Radio sucks. Because there's music and ads. Like They're very separate. You know what it is and you tune things out. Now, in Facebook and everything else and scrolling, you don't really know. And the nice thing with Facebook in general is it's so stinking targeted. Facebook is crazy targeted. You can pinpoint not only local, which is huge. We're a local service company. Everybody's like, oh, TikTok, I want to do TikTok. If you want to do content on TikTok, that's cool. Do it. Like, whatever. I love content. There's a ton of people out there super proud of it. There's some really cool stuff. But you're doing content for other window cleaners, not for customers. Because Facebook is a global platform. You're not finding somebody in Albuquerque who wants window cleaning and you happen to be in Albuquerque. Very, very seldom. Very seldom. Is not local. And we're a local company. Now, if you're a McDonald's or a national chain of things, then it makes sense. Because anybody you basically have watch your stuff decides to like your stuff and there you go. If you're a internet-based company for sales and things, right? If you sell widgets and you're online and anybody anywhere could buy and you could ship it, TikTok works great. But that's not you. Again, we need to know who we're talking to, but we need to also know like what we're saying or, you know, what makes sense. And this is the same thing. I want to know who I'm talking to. It's local. It's somebody local. And Facebook ads are really good at that. 
The other thing with Facebook ads is they're really, really affordable. They're very, very um, well-priced when you get it dialed in. A big thing with Facebook, just like anything, is that when you have ads and your ad sucks, you're like, oh, this doesn't work. I don't get anybody to call. Yeah, because your ad sucks, not because you are actually you know, doing something that is not a great idea. And Facebook ads are that. So do Facebook ads. At least start to look into it. Winter's coming, and you can do so much in winter because you have time. That might be something that's starting to put together that. Now, I'll tell you, with Facebook ads, pretty much everything, but Facebook ads, split testing is huge. And you can split test instantly. Change a thing on the ad, repost the ad. It's all in the same campaign. You edit an ad, edit a picture. It takes like an hour, and they're like, all right, it was approved, and it's back up. And it's in the same, same campaign. You can't do that with print or many of the other medias that are, you know, long, small ones like that instead of, you know, very quick digital content. Digital content's fast to be able to change. Split test, target, cheap. It's all good. Facebook ads. Great. Um, but the king in all advertising, again, or I should say marketing, is SEO. I know. I've talked about SEO for so long because there's so many people out there who will fight the fact that SEO works for some reason. I think it's because it's more expensive. I don't know. I don't know why. But SEO is the absolute king when it comes to return on investment, what you can do, how you can just blow it up. Now, I'll tell you, SEO has to be done by the right person or company because there are more garbage SEO things out there than good ones. And the problem with SEO is that anybody can say, you know, do you want to be on the first page of Google? Hey, it's only 29 bucks. And you're like, whoa, I'm doing SEO, 30 bucks. No, you're not. You've paid somebody to do nothing. And you're going to continue paying them to do nothing until you decide they're doing nothing and then stop it. By that point, they've already got a bunch of money for doing nothing. The problem with SEO is it's not instant. It's not a instant check. And because it's expensive, a lot of people kind of veer away from that. The biggest companies, of course, have to do SEO. SEO is basically, if you have a website, People have to find the website. And the only way they find it is it by ranking and popping up. And you may be going, oh, yeah, mine, mine ranks well. I pop up. Really, for every key term, you're the first search. And you don't do SEO. I have never seen or heard of that ever because it doesn't make sense. That just doesn't make sense. Every time, I mean, this is... If not daily, multiple times a week, somebody's like, hey, I'm looking at starting a window cleaning company. There's nobody in my area. No, you just haven't noticed them. There are people in your area. And it's cool. They're fine. There's lots of windows. Every house and business have windows. So you're good there. But it's the same thing with SEO. It's like, yeah, I just don't have to do SEO. I'm so great. Oh, because you're on your computer searching the term that you always search. And you've been on your website a thousand times changing things and looking at things. And your computer goes, oh, he loves this site. Going in incognito mode, search all of the different terms. Window cleaner in my city. Window cleaning in my city. Window washer in my city, right? Every term and find where you rank on this stuff. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I'm like the fifth on the page. That's pretty good. Really? You think people are calling five companies to get to you? Your listing on there is so good that they're like, I'm not going to call these other five. I'm going to call this one. It's just not happening. SEO gets you there. It's not cheap. And it is a long-term thing. You know, I always find this because I'm kind of in the same boat, but I always say, you know, every time you buy a car, like, I don't want to lease a car because I'm going to keep this one forever. I just want to pay it off. And then what happens is you don't and you end up getting a new car and you always got a car payment because you never end up paying it off most of the time. So in business, it's great to have a lease if you stay under the mileage because you're going to get new vehicles and keep them fresh and blah, 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 blah. And you just assume every vehicle has XYZ for the payments. 
Same kind of concept with SEO. When you get to the point where you need to get customers, an SEO itself is a monthly thing you will always pay, always. If you stop it, you fall. You fall back down. You don't You don't ever achieve a thing where you just stop, <clears throat> right? It's like running a race and you're you know out and ahead and you're like, yeah, and you stop. Well, everybody else is still running. They pass you. Like, and then you're still just in the same spot. That's SEO if you stop it. So there's a few things with that that people do. They stop SEO in the middle of winter. They try to save money. And they go, oh, I don't know if this is working. It's a lot of money. I'm going to stop this one now. I'm going to put that money into my Facebook. It's absolutely absurd to be able to do, you know, remove money from that side to do that. So when you get to a point and you want to be bigger, you want to be inundated with just new people and your existing people can find you and you just want to be the presence online pay a good company for seo just a monk seo <laughs> that's who i always talk about you know that i love those guys i've known them forever but they do just fantastic stuff i told you i had a company that did not exist and in within three months it was ranked on the first page of Google. Like, that's just unheard of. Not that it's going to happen in your area. But to continue to do that, it just gets better. And you have to always be pushing to get that out there. And SEO, meaning people finding your website, will always bring you in more work than everything else you pay for combined. People go, well, yeah, I got referrals. My ref yeah, the referrals you don't pay for, that just happens. I'm talking about stuff you pay for. And people are like, yeah, but it's expensive. We're not talking about expense. If you want things, if I said, hey, would you pay me $750 uh, and I'll give you $20,000 in work? You'd be like, well, yeah, I'm trying to grow, right? That's You're not spending money. You're What are you investing in to get that, right? Anyway, I'll get off my high horse and SEO stuff. But another thing that absolutely works, and it saddens me every day, talk to people who aren't doing this. It's the dentist clothes. If you don't know what the dentist clothes is, I have episodes on it. But it's basically getting through the whole thing at the end of the conversation, you know, you've cleaned the windows, you're talking to the homeowner. Okay, great, well, everything looks great. Blah, blah. And uh, when did you want that next appointment then? In uh, three months or six months? Six months gets you to the second week in April. Oh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, second week in April, good. Uh, morning or afternoon? morning okay that'll be the 7th of april it'll be between 8 and 9 in the morning we'll get you on there and then the week before we'll call and just let you know remind you that simple thing i just did would end you having slow parts here's the thing in winter it's slow that's where you put your commercial stuff fill it up in the winter you do it every six months great it's like middle of summer, winter, great. But if you're working right now and you're like, man, business has been slow. I don't know. I just can't get work. I don't know what you're not doing the dentist clothes. Well, how do you know? Well, because if you were doing the dentist clothes six months ago when you were going crazy, like everybody was in the whole industry, you would have booked it for now anyway. And your, your, your entire October, November would have already been booked. It's already full. It's already full for you to now decide if you're getting another crew or you're just going to, you know, book people on after that. I don't think people understand the absolute, I don't even want to say game changer because that's cliche, but the just absolute domination and success that you can have by doing this. Some of you are like, well, yeah, you know, you know, I forget kind of and... I've had a customer uh, that I've talked to for a very long time. He fight, fights me and everything. It's cool, whatever. You know, best, and that's great. I don't know everything. I'm just some dummy who sits in front of a screen and talks to themselves. But every single thing he fights me on. And he says, yeah, all my customers, you know, they do it every two years. Okay, first off, no. Check your records. Every customer does not do it every two years because after two years they don't know who you are they don't know who you are after six months and why in the heck would you go and sell new stuff new stuff new stuff new stuff just to go wow this guy is coming back in two years potentially and possibly you're not 
taking control of your company. You're just on there and like, what can I do to get more work? You should have already been doing that. You absolutely should have already been doing that. And I also know dozens of people that do the dentist clothes. We did the dentist clothes. Out of all of those people who are doing it and they're doing it confidently, they're like 90% repeat work. And not repeat on yours. Like if you're like, oh, they do it every two years. Yeah, most people repeat. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Because that doesn't. that's not a real fact. You're just throwing numbers out. The fact is, if and when you're confident, right? If you go up and you're like, did you want to get your windows maybe, maybe done in six months? They're going to be like, no. But you're confident. You're the pro. People who do it confidently and absolutely religiously, they do it to every job in the same process, have over a 90% rate of close. That's every customer they have every six months, not every two years. And guess what? Customers are ecstatic. You are not trying to get more money out of them. You're not doing any of that stuff. What you're doing is you are allowing that person to have this awesome service again, and they don't have to worry about talking to you, reminding you, or getting anything. Absolutely a game changer. And it's more than that. More than that. Because you know what? When things slow down, or like the season we're in now, it's kind of a slow time. Slower than normal, I feel like it should be. And people are kind of like, I don't know what to do. What should I? You wouldn't be in a position that would have already been happening. Like, there's slow times, but you understand... If it's already on the schedule, you're working that in. It's absolutely bigger than anybody gives credit until they start trying it and they double their company overnight. It's just insane. It's insane. By the way, to the people out there who say that they have, my customers do it every two years. Uh, If you get on the dentist clothes, every customer instead of two years now gets it done four times more than what you have. You just multiplied your company by four. You just grew 400%. Because instead of now doing it once and then doing it again in two years, you do it every six months. Just think of that. Anyway, okay, I know. Let me take a breather and tell you about me. My name is Jersey from windowcleater.com and I am a rep. And you know that, because shameless plug, right? I do this every single week and every episode, a shameless plug, buy from me. Why do I do that? Because I want to help and I also want to make money because that's how I live and buy food and these really nice two-year-old faded sweatshirts that I wear. And how else am I going to buy name brand clothing from Costco without your help and your orders? So give me a call, shoot me a text, 862-312-2026. That's my cell phone. I don't care if it's big. I don't care if it's little. We ship free over 49 bucks. So hopefully it's over that just so you get free shipping. But we have free gift programs. We have discounts. They can always be on. There's always some kind of flash sale or randomly. There are um, free shipping over that. And it's the fastest shipping in the industry. It ships. Same day, if the order is before like four, it'll ship. So I wanna put that order in, it costs you not one penny extra, literally. It takes just the time to shoot me a text and be like, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart, it's saved. Just click the little underlined word in your cart, so save this cart and then text me or text me the items you want or call me or anything. Let me put the order in, it costs you nothing extra. I make credit for it and I can continue buying my luxury goods from wholesale stores. So thank you for that. Uh, First off. Second off, if you haven't yet, check out the American Window Cleaner magazine. This is a real paper magazine. This is the real magazine. This is what comes to your door every single month. Not only are the covers amazing or the everything, but Things are launched in this magazine. The magazine is full. It's like 40 pages. Full color, super awesome, goes to your door. 
And it comes with the sticker sheet, of course, uh, all window cleaning stickers. Go to awcmag.com, get this uh, uh, magazine, and uh, also go and uh, search on YouTube for my personal channel, uh, Jersey underscore Nation, and subscribe. Okay. That was so long. Sorry. Back to what works. Now, we talked about Facebook ads. We talked about SEO. We've talked about the dentist clothes. But what about another thing that people, I don't know why they don't like this. It's very time consuming, but it works incredibly well. And it's the foam blast. Now, foam blast is this. Every six months, before spring, before fall, you call every person on your customer list that is not scheduled. Now, if you're doing dentist clothes, you're still gonna have potentially 10% of those people that didn't schedule, they got some excuse or whatever. You're gonna call them. And all you're gonna do is say, hey, it's Jersey from XYZ Window Washing. Uh, we're putting together our fall schedule and I didn't see you on there. I just thought I'd call and see uh, when you wanted to get on. You're just assuming they wanna get their windows clean because guess what, they were super happy, you did great work. Windows, everybody wants their windows cleaned. That's it, that's all you do. And out of the people that answer their phone, you will close most of them. That's insane. It's insane that people aren't doing that. Remember, we always talk every day, you are absolutely, you have no problem paying for ads. You have absolutely no problem paying for, you know, anything, digital paper, EDDM, any of that stuff, you're like, oh yeah, I'll drop $10,000 on that. Yeah, it should, it should do pretty well. But what would happen if you spent $10,000 worth of funds on existing customers? What if you just had somebody who made your outbound calls? What would happen if you contacted every customer? Phone blasts work. If you're doing a random uh, text blast, those can work without being spammy. You can do emails. All this stuff works to contact the existing customers. And so many people are scared of this phone list. Phone blast. It's just people, ah, yeah, you know, I didn't I didn't get I I can't do that. Or, you know, I, I don't I mean, we have a lot of customers. Yeah, yeah, you do. But that's why you can do this in a faster, better way. You can have somebody whose job is just to do outbound calls. You can have your job for a couple weeks do just outbound calls. And does it sound awful? Absolutely. But sometimes awful things turn out to be really, really amazing. Our phone blast, whenever we would call, it took three three weeks-ish for us. Uh, we had a lot of customers, but it was every day, all day. Call, leave a message, hang up, call, leave a message, like talk. And out of that... We would book tens tens of thousands of dollars in window cleaning. We would literally book weeks worth of work after this. Every time. We did the dentist close, but yet there's still those other people. If somebody gets off your rotation, even if they don't do the dentist close and you give them the call and then nothing happens, all of a sudden they may be two years later. And now you're reminding them. If I remind them, they know who I am. I can remind them that they've used me. I can remind them that the windows are dirty just by calling. All of that stuff happens in an instant. They don't have to jump on and go, what was that guy's name again? They, they're blue, something. Clear, maybe something. Well, guess what? There's probably other companies maybe have the same name if they even remember your name, which most of, most of them don't. You just did something for them. You cleaned, they knew about it for a couple, you know, maybe hours, and then they never thought about it again. By putting it in your hands, you're not just sitting on a raft going down a river. You're actually paddling. Phone blasts suck. It's a lot of calls. It's a lot of answers. It's a lot of nothing. But so many people just say yes. I have the most amount of people being happy when we call. Hey, I didn't see you on the... Oh, thank you. Yes. Ah. Uh. I was gonna call you in spring and it just it got past me and blah, 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 all these excuses. I'm so glad you called. Yes, let's do that. If you're calling somebody who's already had service from you, 
it was absolutely amazing for them because you're absolutely amazing. So you know that they like you. They know they trust you. You know you. they have your pricing and they know just everything. All you're doing now is just getting them to sign up again. And now it's on your part, your turn, your time. The phone blast is huge for that. And a lot of you are like, oh, I got other things I got to do. Of course you do. They all do. But prioritize that. Prioritize it and get it to happen. And the last big one for things that really, really work is reviews. And I'll tell you the downsides to reviews. First off, reviews are relatively hard to get. You won't have everybody give you reviews. You can get a lot. Like there's follow-up and making sure, making it super easy, one-click reviews, that kind of thing. That's one downside. So you got to be really, really on top of it. But another part is that if you ever upset Google, they could just take all your reviews down just like your page. I get it. It's just one part of the puzzle, but they don't really take down your stuff all that often. And uh, they're not out to do that because they want, you know, more content and all that stuff. You got to kind of do something wrong. And if it does, you know, you get into like this uh, world of, I don't know what I even did wrong, but yeah, I can't talk to anybody about it and they don't care anyway. But other than those, reviews will do so many things for you. First off, reviews, the more reviews you have will make you be more sociably accepted than the others. They instantly assume Hey, that guy's got 12 reviews. This guy's got seven reviews. This company's got 218 reviews. This company's bigger. It's better. More people like them. It's associated that way. I saw a post from somebody, which I know this guy is kind of a troll. He's kind of puts it out there, I think, to get a rise out of people. But he said that uh, he don't. I don't have the most reviews. He had like a handful. But people don't really like more reviews. I know for me, I don't buy the company with their most... Yes, you do. That is absolutely the dumbest thing I've ever heard ever. Ever. Absolutely ever. Just because you don't have a lot of reviews, don't make up some scenario in your head that reviews aren't absolutely incredibly important. If you have two companies, every single person here, two companies... XYZ, XYZ2, listed both. One of them has two reviews. One of them has 312 reviews. Which one are you calling first? Just put it out there. Just on that alone, which one are you calling first? It is not at all, at all possible. You're looking at it going, well, they have way too many five star reviews. I'm not calling them. That's a lie. And you're saying that to try to make yourself feel better. And I get that too. Reviews are hard to get. You have to do follow-ups. A program called uh, Nice Job uh, is really good for reviews. They do the follow-up and get your reviews. When those companies have really big reviews, it's because of those companies that help. The follow-up, the ask, the ease, the click. Make it super easy. Make it fast and simple for somebody to do a review. And you will get a ton of reviews. Even if you have a QR code on a business card and you handle that at the very end, you go through your whole speech, everything's done, say, hey, listen, and if you see any spot streaks or smears, here's my card. Give me a call. Let me know. We'll come back and make it look perfect. Remember, we have that 100%, 100% satisfaction guarantee. And on the back is a QR code with your phone, any phone. Just take a picture with your camera, put the hover over it, and it will pull up. Click that. We'd love a review. I'm not going to tell you what to put in the review, but an honest review would mean the world to us. We're a small business and it absolutely helps us. That is absolutely easy. They could do it right there. If you just say, oh, we also would love reviews. They got to go and find you, then find if it's the right company and put it where, how am I doing that? They're not going to do that. That's why you have 12 reviews. Make it easy. Make it fast. Do it at the time of service because they're never going to be happier than right there. Reviews will always be there as long as you don't upset them. So there's going to be companies that have thousands of reviews. Well, there are now, but window cleaning companies even that will have thousands of reviews because they'll just keep accumulating over time. It's a new era. Those things work. All of those things I said work. 
Some of them are paid, some of them are free, but they all work and you should be doing them. The big one, paid SEO by far. The biggest one, free dentist clothes. It will change your life, guaranteed. Or your money back for this podcast. Huh? Speaking of money, I would like to earn some of your money by putting orders in. No, I don't have a Patreon. You can't just give me donations. That's cool. We get asked all the time, which I really appreciate that. Thank you to all you guys who just let me know how awesome the show is or that you got something out of it or ideas for new shows. Fantastic. But I want to put your orders in. Any and all of your orders. And let me tell you this. If you're listening right now and you text me when a sale is going on, but you text me at 2 in the morning, don't worry about not having If you text me, it locks you in during the sale. So over the weekend or middle of the night, whatever, let me put it in. Just text me at 862-312-2026. Let me put the order in. Please, shameless plug again, I know. And of course, if you haven't yet, go to AWC mag.com be somebody in the industry you're a window cleaner you're proud of being a window cleaner get the magazine it's been around since 1986 the revamps and re-editions on this thing is fantastic absolutely so proud of it and of course the stickers because we're nerds and i think they're cool so go and do that also it would mean the world to me and uh yeah thanks for watching thanks for listening thanks for everything you guys are fantastic and also amazing. Uh, until next week, go out there and first do the things that work. Make some more money. Grow your business. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.